hey guys welcome back to my channel when tay talk i am tay and i am here for another review of the trailer for love and marriage house bill ouch cookie what the come on say hi okay well i guess not what so Y'all, I am not. I am not about to do this with Cookie. Every time I get ready to pick her up, she running her bed. She's disrespectful, as you all can see. Everything on the channel is alleged and in my opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification so that you know each and every time your girl upload a new video. Okay? So this is a... The trailer review for Love and Marriage Huntsville season 6 episode 20. The trailer was coming up next week. Yeah, so this is for the next episode. I don't know why they keep having like these little cliffhangers and to be continued. But they still give us a trailer for what's coming up. Usually when something is to be continued, they don't tell you what's coming up on the next damn episode. So, oh, get it together. This We're like, is this the fourth episode in? I think this is the fourth episode in. They had 16, 17, 18, and then 19. Yeah, this is the fourth episode in, and all of them has been to be continued. We know it's going to be continued, damn Carlos, because the damn episode is not, it's not the end of the damn season. It's not the season finale. Damn. Let me get back into my mess. Okay. Okay, and then we got another little topic to come up about male status on the show. All right, so mm, let's get into it. Okay, so the first scene is that's on that they plan for next week. They have um, Martell and Chris Fletcher and Fred. Of course, they're still at that site, I guess, for Martell's house or whatever house they're about to build or whatever the case may be. And... Martel is um, saying to them, because you know they were talking about um, Marceau saying that the Holtz they never did nothing for him or whatever the case may be and that they didn't, you know, they didn't really help him with Scott or whatever. <sighs> Y'all. Mm. So Martel says, don't be a friend to me. Don't act like a friend if you're not going to act like a real friend. My cattle, me, pie cattle. Okay? Mel Ben told your dusty ass that they wasn't your damn friends. Okay? But you ain't want to listen. Because you was too busy plotting against her ass, which was the one that helped your ass through every damn thing and they dusty asses. But no. Y'all y'all had y'all click together and those was your friends. Mel can't keep friends. So now they acting like real friends. Okay? So which means that they fake ass friends. But Mel can't keep a friend. It looks like you can't either because you never had no damn friends. That's the damn joke of it all. Is that you never had any damn friends. Why you talking about somebody else not, not being able to keep none. They wasn't her damn friends. It wasn't shit to keep. Okay? Child, I cannot. And then Chris say, <laughs> okay, Mayweather. Okay? Because to me, Chris intentionally riled Martell up. Y'all, we gonna talk about a Martell Holt takedown. Okay? It looks like they getting ready to take him down and all up and through it. Okay? And I am here for it. Good day. Good day. So, that'll be the final nail in his coffin for Marceau now. Okay? No, we'll talk about that in a minute. So, yeah. So, and Chris said, uh, maybe he should have said fair weather. Because you a fair weather ass friend. Just like your little fake pretend ass friends you had over there. And y'all all got your damn degrees. Okay? Get into that. So... The next scene they show is 
Kimmy and her friend talking about this vibrator. Next scene. Next piece they show is Marceau talking to Tisha about, um, you know, a woman disrespecting him. And, you know, right while Tisha was there. And, again, like, I say that, one, Marceau, you got a lot of motherfucking nerves. You have a lot of nerves to even call yourself addressing this with your wife. The same wife that doesn't say anything about you disrespecting women before they even have a chance to disrespect you. Okay? This is another case of them doing stuff to other people, but it can't be done to them. This is also another case of him expecting Tisha to do something that he not going to do for her. And y'all, this, all I'm saying right here, the shit I'm about to talk is about, is specific to Marceau and Tisha. Okay, maybe in Kimmy and Maurice as well. Okay? It's not for regular people. Okay? Because I say again, we all know in regular world, if somebody says something like that to your damn man, husband, boyfriend, friend, whatever he is, man, friend, you getting in her ass. Because who the f are you talking to? Okay. And that ain't your friend. Because your friend wouldn't disrespect your spouse or whatever your other half in front of your damn face. Okay. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't, shouldn't be doing it behind your back either, but they wouldn't do that to you because that's in essence disrespecting you. Okay? So, no friend would disrespect you like that. Okay? For even you to have to address anything like that. Okay? And also, real husbands don't act like that toward women. Especially their wise friends friends okay so he's saying that and like i said it's odd because that's all you do is disrespect women on this show on social media um you disrespect your damn wife all of this stuff you do and you think you deserve some damn respect from who from who? You disrespect your wife on the on the show to the point to where it's disrespectful to your damn kids. So how fucking dare you come to her talking about her letting some woman disrespect him? When you learn to respect motherfucking women, because I'm sure Stormy wouldn't have did that if Marceau would not be so disrespectful. I'm sure of that. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm going to say I'm pretty sure of that. Okay? In my opinion. She felt comfortable doing that because she got a husband. And her husband on this show do not disrespect any of the women. So she know how that's supposed to go. She haven't disrespected any of the other men on the show. And when I say men, I use that loosely because I'm, you know, I'm talking about like the, the Luz, um, Chris Fletcher, Fred, okay? And I'm going to say Courtney too, but like I said, I ain't forgot about that mess with this back Titanic Courtney! So it might have been a one-off. But that's just another instance of um, Stormy manipulating Courtney to get activated. She used Courtney as a bodyguard. I wonder, can Courtney fight? Because at this point, I feel like Courtney would have whooped Marce Mar Marceau's ass if they um, were in the real life in reality. Okay? Um, he don't seem like a guy that gets pumped up or nothing like that too often. But when he do, you should be afraid. Um, he also seems very, you know, mild tempered and stuff like that. Stormy the pop off. He the silent, he, he the calm before the storm. Okay. No pun intended. 
but very much so. Okay? He's the calm before the storm. So, I think Courtney, Stormy uses him as her bodyguard because she very much so wants Courtney to beat the living shit out of Marceau. Like, she wants that to happen in live time in her face. And to be honest, I don't condone violence, me or a cookie. But, I recall the conversation I was having with Cookie. And she was saying she would love to see that too. Now, I don't know if Cookie was drinking that day or whatever. Because y'all know her birthday was in August. So, you know, she grown now. Um, I do recall Cookie saying that, you know, she wanted to see that. Like them paws put on Marceau via Courtney. Actually, it could be via anybody. I think Stormy probably can whoop Marceau's ass. Ain't no telling. Who knows? I don't know. Okay? But yeah, that's the irony of him bringing that up to her. My boy, please. The way, please. But that's that's the world they live in. She has created this environment and she's comfortable with this environment. Of those women saying she gave them permission to talk shit to him. She said, whatever he do, you take it to him. Don't talk to me about it. I, I'm out. I'm staying out of it. Tisha, these women and these married women, old married women too. What do you mean go to him? Because again, in the real world, ain't no woman got nothing to say to my man. She got to say it to me. Okay? I may or may not relate a message to him about what I, what need to happen or how things need to proceed. But you ain't saying nothing to my man. This girl told them to approach him. Don't say nothing. She ain't out of it. Like a fucking idiot. But that's why they don't respect each other. Tisha liked what Stormy was saying to Marceau. That's why she ain't had nothing to say. Pete, Pete, when she had something to say was when Mel said something. She ain't like what Mel said. That's why she piped up. When there's something, when, when there's something that she won't to say, be said, she ain't got shit to say. When Kiki say something, she pipe up. Because she don't like what Kiki's saying. When her mom's saying something, she quiet. Because she like what her mom's saying. When Marceau talking that shit, she quiet. Because she like what he's saying. Because just because she like what um, Marceau, um, Stormy is saying to Marceau. Because she want to say that to Marceau. She also like what Marceau is saying to Stormy. Because Stormy didn't have her back like that at that Espo um, meeting. I mean, you know, at the baby reveal regarding the Espo. Okay? So, she ain't saying nothing to neither one of them. And Marceau, you expecting too much out of it. You expecting too much out of it. But let me tell you this. She said... Like a fucking kid. Like a 14 year old girl that mama is telling her that one of her little friends ain't really her damn friend. But I like her. I like Nicole. She's my friend, mom. Marso putting her on notice to stay the, away from Stormy because if, if Tisha around Stormy too much she gonna be trying to talk that mess to him just like Stormy is she gonna try to get out of hand and it's gonna be a problem then okay but Tisha again is doing what she always do because this is what she do 
when her mom was blatantly disrespecting Mel and her damn kids. Since she didn't give a fuck about what her mom was saying, what she say? That's my mom. So now, she don't give a damn about what Stormy's saying because you are a bitch, as you confirmed. And how do you feel as disrespectful if after she said it, you said it, you confirmed it, you said you were. So how was she disrespecting you by calling you something that your funky ass was? Huh? How the fuck is that disrespectful? So again, you just trying to, you know, pit people and play with them and stuff like that. But the whole time you hurt. You was hurt. You was hurt that she was doing that and you was mad and you was picking at her like a bitch because you knew you couldn't do shit to her because Courtney was there. And he would have got in your ass. And not the way you like it. But what they say about rumors all about Courtney, who knows if you, if you like it or not. I don't know. I think that's just a rumor because I don't get that from him. I just think he just quiet. Like I said, he I, he don't seem like the type of person that's with the rah rah stuff until it's time to put in action. He's not about to sit there arguing back and forth. Like you see how how he is with Marceau. Marceau like getting a rise out of people. Courtney won't give him that. You see, he don't do that kind of stuff to Marcel, Martel, because he know Martel can't stay calm. And before the camera people or the, you know, security can break them up or get in front of Martel, he been to beat the shit out of Marcel. So he don't play like that too much with Mar Martel. Because he, he too unpredictable. He had been a pop the hell off and whooped his ass before he even finished the damn sentence. Soon as he say something he don't like, he on that ass. He not playing the games. Dead parrot. So, Marcel says a person only has one time to cuss me out about $100. Marcel shut up. Then we get to the next scene with, um, but wait a minute, wait a minute. They sitting there with these e-commerce products that Marceau don't have a high opinion of. Talking about the bitch that products is in those damn bottles. And it looked like she had about 15 bottles there. Tisha, is is is, is that the, the bulk of the supply? Is that the bulk? I'm just asking for a friend. Is that the bulk of the damn supply? And that's why you sold out in, what, six months? Because you only had 15 items? <laughs> Like I said, Marcel was talking that junk and don't have a high opinion of e-commerce because their products don't sell. If if it was making money like Mel was making money, his opinion would very much so change. Okay? It ain't making him no money. That's why he don't have a high opinion of it. Okay? Now let's move on. <laughs> Now let's move on to Marceau and Martel. And they look like they still at that house. So even after that day, I wonder was Marceau over there to help Martel move? Because I'm trying to think if them little pictures was off the wall or not. I can't take it. But um, they sitting there, Martel sitting there. So, they talking about, Mar Martell is telling him, like, like I heard what the f you been saying. And who ain't helped you? Who ain't did nothing for you? 
So he said, don't sit there and act like Melanie and I haven't helped you guys at all. So Marceau says, um, who's giving who the most? And this is the reason why I think that Marceau either have a mental illness He likes getting a rise out of people. Or they're trying to get Martel to explode. And we all know nothing gets Martel up more upset than, for one, people telling his truths. And for two, people not giving him credit for being subpar. People not giving him credit and big up in him for doing the bare minimum. We know nothing upsets him more than that. It seems like that's what the cast is doing. So we'll talk about that in a minute, but let's get back on Marceau. Okay? Marceau and Martel. So, he said, who's giving who the most? Marceau, is that a real question? Or... Because it's looking like the host. And like I said, I will bundle Martel in that. Because when they initially started helping the snots, they were married. Even though we know like the majority of the help came from Melody, we'll still keep them as a couple because they were a couple and they as a couple were helping them. Okay. Martel brought it to Melody to help them with Skull to start with Skull. They did that. Okay. He said the plan was just to, you know, them to help them with that start. Them to buy him out. That was the plan. It wasn't like it was no hostile takeover from Tisha. That was the plan already. For once they got established, for them to buy him out, once they got enough money, which means that the Holtz probably loaned them money to get that business started as well. And once y'all finished paying them off, then y'all would buy him out and then it would be just your company. So we have the main thing with Sculpt, which y'all were making money at first. It looks like like more money than y'all ever seen in y'all fucking life, whether y'all want to, you know, admit it or not. Now to present day, since Martel and Melanie haven't been a part, part of it, what is that doing? It's doing lawsuits. It ain't doing numbers. It's doing lawsuits. While he tried to tell Mel, where's y'all company bankrupt? They company didn't bank, ain't bankrupt. They dissolved it. And it wasn't because they wasn't getting business. And to be honest, that should have been a pump to your damn business. When they dissolved theirs, it should have been a pump to y'all business because y'all would have been able to get them clients that they had, right? If y'all was doing business practices right. Y'all could have been getting that business. But since y'all know now. After Melly and Martel not dealing with y'all on Scott anymore. People around town don't request y'all. I haven't heard anybody request y'all. Even when, when Martel brought up. Doing the business with Marceau. Instead of Mel to Chris Fletcher. He was like what? Like boy please. Get the fuck out of my face. Who? Okay, I, I know you forget. Get, get, who? Hey, please. They have been a, sued Chris just for even talking about a damn scold. 
Chris said, boy, I entertain it for the purposes of recording these cameras, but you already know after that ain't nothing going on. While Marceau was acting like he was turning the deal down. Boy, you ain't turning shit down with that damn raggedy ass ring around a damn collar. Stop it. Squidward. I cannot. But he asked Martel that seriously. And, you know, of course, Martel is going to explode. And Martel said, you ain't Dutch for me. Marcel said, what? Well, I beg to differ. I beg to differ too. Because Martel, to be honest... Marcel and them has done a lot of shit for you. They have done a lot for you. Okay? It ain't laying your ass no damn where, but they, they, they help you with a lot of shit. Okay? <laughs> who helped who the most to whose detriment should have been a damn question? And whose damn benefit should have been the question? Because the, the help that the hosts gave them benefited them. The help that, that, that Marceau has done for Martel, not so much. Okay? He helped your ass destroy your fucking family. He helped your ass go bankrupt. He helped your ass dissolve all your fucking million dollar businesses. He's helped you a lot. It just has been to your detriment and not to help you. Not nothing to enhance you. Or to cause you harm. The, all things that's bad for you. <laughs> but this who you said, who this who you was trying to um, have a nut swinging contest with Melody about, about friends. And look at him now. Look at him. So, y'all, I want to... Bring up Oh Mel is doing her the Louis Vuitton giveaway. Um I want to bring up Melody's post. Okay, so this is what I was thinking. Um, I'm like the 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 Fletchers is bringing the heat. Okay, we can't we can't ignore this. We gotta call a thing a thing. They're bringing the heat. Okay, and they bringing it. To the cast bullies. Which they know we gonna love. Okay. They know we gonna love it. We love when anybody go against the Scots. Because or call them on their shit really. I ain't even gonna say against them. Because. I'm not gonna say that. People should not like whoever Melody don't like. But it just so happened that the people that she don't deal with or whatever anymore are pieces of shit. I mean, they're pieces of shit to people that they say they love. They're pieces of shit to people that they call friends. So... It's not just because Mel don't deal with them. It's because they're actual pieces of shit. And who the hell would want to be around that? Who would want that to be their friend? What part of the snots give I want to be in their circle? Unless you are like them. Unless you are low down and grimy like that. Like what part of them says like. 
healthy friendship. Like, nothing, right? Not a damn thing. So, the Fletcher's on the scene. The Snot's acting a certain way toward them. We see that it's jealousy. Because Marceau, like, is constantly, like, just... He just a contradiction. Like, all he does is contradict himself. Because you sat at the table with the Fletchers telling them you didn't know what they did when you've actually tried to do some type of business with Chris or waste his damn time looking at spots in Atlanta. Just like when y'all went to the marriage retreat in Tennessee. You talking about you had to look at some properties there. No, your ass didn't. Shut up. For what? So back to this. So anyway, so you telling them that, you know, oh, you didn't know what they did. Da, 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 and you're not going to pay Melanie to speak because her business hasn't been um, long enough. Or whatever case may be. Whatever her current businesses are haven't been long enough. But the businesses that she's had be success in before... She still has the credentials to do them. If she wanted to. And I won't even say that they lucky that she don't feel like doing it. Because she could very well so. Because like she said, she still, she renewed her business, her builder's license. So that she can pass that on to her kids. Have we ever heard the Scots talking about passing any damn thing to their damn kids? No. Secondly, we need to remember that. Mel and her mom, remember they bought like those 37 or 38 acres? Was it last year or the year before last? Like last year sometime, they bought all that land, her and her mom. And then her mom closed on like that million dollar deal. I don't think that was theirs, but I'm not for sure. But the whole point of it is, is that the knowledge that she had that when she helped you open up your business, it's not like it's lost. She can still tell people about a successful business because she started successful businesses before and she just dissolved them because of her divorce. And she went into another route, another area, whatever the case may be. But she still left options open for that her to go back to that if she wanted to. And if she wanted to now, she can go back into that business and kill the game again. Okay? Since you pride yourself on Sculpt, she also started Sculpt. So she could have came to the expo and spoke about that. You could have paid her to talk about that. But I say again, like Mel said, when you wanted me to speak for free, you wanted me to speak. I had businesses and I had something to say then. But when I said I'm not doing it for free, it turned into she ain't professional. She ain't got nothing to talk about. She ain't got nothing to talk about for free, motherfucker. Okay? So, but again... Then you at the business table, I mean, at the table with Mel talking about how long the business is and all this type of stuff. And it ain't been that long and it's been bankrupt and all this stuff. But yet, you want to big up Stormy, Maurice and them, which we still don't even know what the hell they do. But you want to big them up because they had their businesses before... Before Melody, um, before, you know, this platform. When Kimmy and them didn't. Anything regarding Credit One before this platform had Millie and Mama Ho um, um, Snot on there. Okay? We just gonna call her Dorm Mom Snot. Okay? So it had Millie and Dorm Mom Snot. On all the promotions and little advertising or whatever they had on YouTube for um the the um credit one. We haven't gotten any success stories from that. Death the two clients we seen, Destiny and Martel, still ain't did shit. They still in the damn dumps. 
So he can't even use them as a good example. The way he couldn't put his name on that, um, the 47 acres, it's also given there that he wasn't even success with good credit himself. Okay? Maybe he helped Marceau file for bankruptcy. Maybe he made that recommendation and that's why he filed for bankruptcy. Who knows? But Nell and Chris Fletcher has had their business for 30 years. But you didn't think to invite them to the expo, which though they have businesses that Per your words, you hold high value on. You respect. So, I'm not understanding which one it was. Because, you're again, you're contradicting the fuck out of yourself. With that. And you contradicting yourself and it, it keep changing because you just don't want to say you're a fucking hater and you jealous of them. And you know that they coming for somebody's spot on that damn show. Y'all just don't know who the hell it is. Okay? Because Stormy put on her IG that... Let me go to it. Let's go here. I don't have my other phone. Let me look up Stormy. Um, Knowing when to leave, knowing when to leave is so important. The party, the job, the relationship, thinking minds. Then she has everything that your heart deserves will come to you soon. You're starting to expand. You're starting to expand. You're starting to think differently. You're moving in a new way. You really can't explain it, but you know that this is your time. The entire universe is working in your favor. October is going to be a big month for you. You cried many times in private, but now God is about to Bless you in the public. Amen. Your season is shifting. God can change things in a moment. Keep praying and never stop believing. So these are things that Stormy is saying um, on her Instagram stories. On her Instagram stories. And people think that it's saying that she is leaving the show. She didn't show anything about her reunion look or anything like that. I know she had that um, red on with the wig and that looked, it was late. Um, she also was at the TikTok um, thing. So, I don't know if Stormy feel like the success that she's gotten with the TikTok and the body rubs, scrubs is better than her being on this show because this show hasn't helped her. It has only highlighted her discrepancies, I'll say. All I can say is is that even if she do move over to a body scrubs, it's still a part of the beauty industry, but you still have the same business acumen. So, have you changed that? And I can't say you've changed that if you haven't made these people hold that hold that you have their money for those products that you have not put out yet. 
who does that? That's like, like you can't just fuck over people with your products that they've been supporting you and, and trying to support you with, and you fuck over them and not give them their products, but you got their money and there's no refunds and they can't get in contact with nothing, not, nobody or nothing like that. And then you just start something else and just say, oh, okay, I forget about that. Uh, we own this now. You can't do that. You can dissolve that business, but you need to, you can't leave them people hanging like that. You need to make them whole, finish that off, and then jump head first into these body scrubs. It's not fair for you to say, oh, you know, I'm stopping our production on the hair care products because the body scrubs are doing so good. That's that meaning like, okay, fuck y'all. Let me get this money from this body scrubs because I ain't had no complaints yet. The complaints ain't hit the boards yet. That's like a mother having a kid, kid one, two years old. She get pregnant and have another kid and say, oh, fuck you, little baby. Okay, go on, go on. I done outdone you. I got a new one. All right? I can't, I can't be your mama no more. I don't know you no more. Okay? I got to stop all taking care of. I got to stop waking you up. I got to stop feeding your ass. All that stuff. I got to stop, you know, teaching your stuff. All that stuff is going to be done. Because I have a new baby. Who does that? So maybe she's taking a cue and leaving the show because it has not been good for her. Um, I can't say that I respect. If she's leaving the show, I can respect that. Because, like I said, it hasn't put her in a good light. If you was doing millions and stuff like that before... I know this show has cut it down, okay? Just from the people seeing your reputation and stuff like that. It it hasn't produced more revenue. It probably has produced more problems. And like I said, highlighted the issues that you are having. Unlike the snots, that they're going to keep displaying their bullshit. They don't give a damn because they're going to still keep getting paid from being on our damn screen looking like a mother fool every damn week. But we digress. So I said the Fletchers are coming on here. I will say, okay. Then they was in L.A. taking pictures or whatever with Tisha and them. I hope they not trying to get, like, I whatever they do, they just need to keep whatever they got going on with the, the snots on that show. Because if y'all watching this stuff back, y'all clearly see they don't like y'all. And they don't like y'all because they ain't y'all. They can't get like y'all because people don't respect them in that neighborhood, in that community like they respect y'all. They can't get the same shit y'all get legitimately. They have to try to scheme with people to try to sh you get it. They can't ride around in Rolls Royces. And that's they renting one for a nice piece of change that they could have used that to get them a home. While they were trying to raise $150,000 for kids that don't have homes to build them a $150,000 house, one of them, instead of worrying about getting your damn kids, your own damn kids, a damn home. So it seems like that damn fundraiser was for the little snot kids and not no damn um zip code envy for no other damn kids. That's what it seems like to me. But again, I digress. Them Fletchers. So I said, okay. What is going on? Because Stormy and Courtney is full-time cast. Um, I don't. Is Tiffany and Lou full-time cast? Or are they still like, you know, just friends of? I think Tiffany and Lou is full-time cast. Um... Kiki and her husband, well, sometimes her husband, because her husband don't be on all the time, and I don't think he want to, and we got the snots, Mel and Martell. I think they were trying to do a revamping of some sort on this show. 
what they can do is eliminate one or both of the snots. But I said, okay, they can bring Stormy and Courtney in and one of the snots can go. I don't think they're going to take away Marceau and Tisha, but I would prefer it because I want to see Kimmy and Maurice stand on their own. And I also think that if Kimmy and Maurice are by themselves, I think that they would pick up some of the good habits from the other people on the show. And since Mars, Mar, uh, not Marcia, Carlos, like, seemed to me kind of like a little off after the reunion, like he wasn't his, you know, regular bubbly self. I was like, I feel like Mel must have announced her departure. And the Fletchers could very well be taking Mel and Martel's spot on the show. But Mel posted on her stories, I mean, on her page. She posted this picture. And she said, vision is made clear when you remove the blockage. Happy Sunday, InstaFam. How did y'all enjoy Love and Marriage Huntsville last night? Sound off below. Catch me at 2 p.m. since um, Central Standard Time for our Louis Vuitton live giveaway. Okay, so that must have been what she was live about. Well, I told y'all she was live about the giveaway. And also, in the comment section on here, she pinned the comment and said, There's a lot of people DMing me inquiring about whether or not I'm leaving Love and Marriage Huntsville. Nope. She said, and ain't. <laughs> and ain't. Okay, what do y'all think about that? <laughs> I said then one of them snots need to go. Damn, I meant go. Um, it put typed out good. I hate Instagram won't let you correct your stuff. And my preference is 1.0. Let's see what what 2.0 can do without their supply. Okay? Their supply of fucking negativity and bullying and sorriness and just <clears throat> Kimmy would be like a chameleon, I think, and um, adjust to the other people on the show because I do think that she has some type of class about herself if put in the right environment. But when she put in a pen, she act like a pig, okay? So I think she kind of adapts to the environment that she's in. Okay. I wouldn't even call it cold switching. I just think she just fake as fuck. Um, because cold switching don't mean that you fake. It just means that you know what you can do right here and what you ain't supposed to be doing right here and why you got to act. But I digress. So Mel said that she ain't going nowhere. And I was confused about it, too, because, like I said, Carlos, it didn't, he didn't seem right. But now I'm thinking, Martel is out of there. I told y'all, I wanted to talk about this. I feel like he is such a, ooh, they know they can, he a loose cannon. So they know they can pick with him to make him explode. After how he did at the last reunion, all this stuff that he's done, they haven't done anything to, to him. 
now with this stuff that Mel got going on with this Lisa Bloom or all this revenge porn, all this, oops, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to hope they're going to um, put it out. But this revenge pee and all that type of stuff, I'm hoping that they have made some changes. And if she's not leaving, it's definitely given that some things are, are di going to be different. Some things are going to be different. We see it in this season. We see it in these last four episodes. Never have the Scott 1.0 been called out. This lawsuit been going on since the year before last, last year. It was revealed. And they have not said anything. They went through filming two, three seasons or, you know, parts of the seasons and they hadn't, re they hadn't mentioned it. They rolled across it at the last reunion. And that was just Marceau giving a spiel about him needing to go to Africa because he was so stressed out about the lawsuit. Not anything about details of the lawsuit or nothing like that, except that it was embarrassing. But that's embarrassing to you, but you want to pull out everybody else's downfalls or whatever shortcomings and try to throw them up in their face. But this is embarrassing to you. A mofo like that shouldn't be embarrassed about shit. Why is it embarrassing to you? Because you fuck they, pe they stuff up? Or because everybody know you fuck they stuff up? Which one are you embarrassed about? Because you sued them. They countersued you. So you had the biggest cojones when you went to go sue them. But now you embarrassed because they suing you back? Because they countersuing? So it's given like everybody is going to be on this show. Mel saying they're going to work for their stuff. We're going to talk about y'all shit too. We talking about everybody's stuff now. And we see it now. Mel not only brought up that lawsuit when they were, when she was talking to Nell Fletcher at the baby reveal, but she also brought it up to his face, which she said to Nell at the baby reveal, she don't mind saying it to his dusty ass, ugly ass face. Yes. So I think the days are over of them you know, lolly gagging and playing around and, and, and shitting on people all the damn time. But also, like I said, which one of the, one of the snots is going, in my opinion. I'm going to put money on one of them snots is going. Which ones? Which ones do y'all think is going? Again, I doubt if they remove Marceau and Tisha. <clears throat> but if they're removing Martel because of all the vile shit that he has done, Tisha and Marceau has followed suit with that as well. He's volatile. Marceau is too. He incites violence. Because somebody is going to crack his damn head open. It might not be nobody on this show, but some, if he keeps it up, somebody is going to do that. That's the reaction that he brings out of people. And it's not cute anymore. It wasn't cute before, but like, it seemed like he's getting worse because he feel like that's the role he has to play on the show. Also, Tisha's mom now her makeup artist, Marceau, threatening people. Threatening people from what her daughter and son-in-law is putting on this damn TV show. So I know she's not on the show no more, but she is very much so still related to them. And she is threatening people on behalf of things that she sees on the show. 
they need to go because they don't have that shit in order. So the best way to get her to stop doing that is to get their ass off our fucking TV screen so we won't have to see their miserable ass selves another day in our damn lives. Okay? And they can do their kind of scheming and scanning, all that stuff on their own, by themselves, and we don't have to even, we, don't, we won't comment on it because we won't be looking at it. We won't be seeing it. Okay, because it is a shame that they have them on this show acting like they got some type of businesses and they know they don't. They brag about <clears throat> the cars they have. What else do y'all have? What do y'all have? They'll never show us no real shit. The, the cars that they show us, we got them. Those cars that we all got. Like, it's nothing impressive about the way they live. It's nothing impressive. They just giving new, new money or people that got a few dollars that they never, you could tell they're not used to nothing. And for them to act like they have so much business acumen and they've been making so many millions and stuff like that, they don't act like real millionaires. They act like new, a few dollars, because I ain't gonna even say new money, new couple dollars. That's what they act like, in my opinion. So, I don't know. I thought that, you know, Mel and Martell was leaving. But it looked like Martell might be leaving. I wonder would Mel be like just like a um, friend on the show and not part of the main cast. And not part of the main cast. And then since Fred is, you know, being more present on the show and with on with Martel on um the internet. I don't know if Martel is still listed as an EP. I don't think he is anymore. I don't think he have any more rights to the show either. I think either he didn't never have them or he had them when he was married to Mel and maybe he has sold them sold them or sold his rights or whatever the case may be, been bought out, whatever the case. But I don't think he has to pull now to get people on like that. So his association with Fred is giving him a storyline, but I think he need to go. So I know they're trying to, well, in my opinion, they're trying to get him off. Um, and they do going to do it in the guise of they can't control him and he has went too far. He has done too much too many times and they can't keep letting it go on. So it's going to be like a network thing and not like a Carlos, which is could be the reason why Carlos was sad. We know he going to cry about him some Martell. Um, the... Other than that, Kimmy and Maurice, like I said... They the likely choice that they getting the fuck on, but and it looked like they about to try to start putting out rumors about Neil and Chris too, to try to scare them from even trying to sign up to be on the show permanently. So I don't know if so Stormy and Courtney might be leaving, so that will give Chris and Neil Fetcher a chance to be on the show. But I think they need to be part of the core six, and I think that one of the snots need to fucking go. Okay? One of the snots need to go. Like I said, I prefer if it be 1.0 because I want to see what 2.0 could do without them. And how they'll react with other people without 1.0. And I think it'll provide a little, you know, a one up to 2.0. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the mofo comments. Let me make sure. Look at my notes and see if I missed anything else. I think that's it. All right. All right, y'all. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be busy today. I might put a review out for the show tomorrow. Um, And yes, because I'm on vacation. So... 
Mind y'all business and not mine. Okay? Alright, so y'all like this video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, y'all, bye!